One of the things they were saying is we are in this era of it's difficult for people to trust traditional advertising. It's difficult for people to trust basically actors who are paid to say things about a product or service. But what people love is number one, they love to hear from people who look and sound and feel like them. So Amazon reviews, for example, or, you know, uh, Yelp reviews or like it feels good to have an average Joe like me say this restaurant was good, but don't eat the chicken parm because it wasn't that good or whatever. I trust them because they have no vested interest in telling me anything other than the truth because they're not getting paid for it. They don't know me. So that was number one. But the only thing that was more powerful in terms of the trust was people who are experts people who have a position of authority. And again, it's not someone who's being paid to endorse something. It's someone who just happens to know a lot about a topic I care about. So I am trusting them because again, the world has deemed them a subject matter expert. So, you know, they were talking about professors, they were talking about certain professions, but they were also talking about business leaders who have a depth of expertise around a niche or a specialty. You cannot be an expert in everything. And so you can't just declare yourself, I am a thought leader on all things, and then start creating content about everything. And this is where I think a lot of coaches, consultants, and agencies run into trouble is because they are afraid to narrow down the focus enough that they actually could be seen as an authority. And again, part of narrowing your focus means, and this is, I think, where everybody gets afraid, right? When I narrow my focus and I say, well, I don't need a million YouTube followers. I need a couple hundred YouTube followers that are actually engaged or whatever. Then immediately the business owner mind goes to, but that's not enough people to sell to. <laughs> Other people have money. I need everybody's money. And, and, and I think in some cases, we forget as business owners and leaders how awful it is to have a client that is not a right fit and how we chase our tail to try and make them happy. And we struggle to try and meet their needs and we lose our shirt financially because we are constantly trying to be good at something that we're really not that good at. And so it's not our area of expertise. And so we it's, it's a stretch for us. And we end up spending so much more time than we would if we were working with clients that we already knew their business. We already understood their problems. We knew how to solve them because we've done it a million times. That's so much easier and more, and frankly, more profitable. That should quell our fears about narrowing down. But boy, that is a huge struggle for everybody as I know you see.